breakthrough that the government is seeking is on dual use technology and nuclear commerce yes and that is why i think that you can i think it is legitimate for india to say we we require dual use technology and to say that until the rest of the world gets rid of nuclear weapons we are not going to do so but to insist that along the smother country with the smallest nuclear arsenal in the world along with the country which has overwhelmingly the largest nuclear arsenal get together break the deadlock in the conference on disarmament begin discussions if not negotiations in the cd that will be a breakthrough that could get dr manmohan singh a nobel prize and president obama a bar to his nobel prize okay. we should be thinking in big terms what we are doing is we are going with a grocery list and he's coming with a takeaway arrangement <laughs> and we said put the two things together Sorry. if you want something major then think big and known thing in petty terms as to did he mention pakistan or not and who he's mentioned pakistan therefore pakistan is finished <laughs> he hasn't mentioned pakistan wo hum khatam ho gaye what is this attitude so we should be a big country money, money is quite right on the disarmament uh, business i think this is something that we should really push for it's uh, i think in everyone's interest to go for this and we've been the advocates of this regrettably we have uh, not pushed through on this as much as we should have but barkha just to go back something which your viewers may like to see just a point which i noted earlier in the day uh, akash uh, apartments notwithstanding adarsh adarsh, adarsh apartments, apartments yeah. notwithstanding and this is about the chief minister jumping protocol he wasn't jumping protocol on the table of presidents the, the presidents list he is number 7 salman khurshid is number 10 so he was right <laughs> okay so that's that's uh, something I, I just for the want MBA, i just want to, to, to take note of we're also getting okay. news from sources uh, that uh, drdo isro and bdl could be taken off the list of list of entities we're waiting for that announcement rajesh seems to think that will happen sanjay puri as a prominent indian american voice why is this visit important you've got to convince mani shankar ayer and that is an impossible task i can tell you <laughs> uh, i don't think uh, better men than me have tried i don't think i'm capable of doing that for money but uh, i'll just come back to the pakistan on the issue maybe you yeah. should put yourself in obama's uh, uh, you know uh, shoes yeah. uh, they've spent billions trying to win the hearts and minds of the people of pakistan you know there's 70% people in pakistan have distrust of the united states yeah. and i'm sure geo tv is doing wall to wall coverage just like you are doing here in nd tv so if he lands and he talks about pakistan all the billions and all the people that have been dying for this cause yeah. just goes down the tubes because that happens that he, so, that he increases and reinforces the anti americanism in pakistan absolutely 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 so i think from that perspective uh you know give the guy a break he's walking a very very thin line from the american perspective so uh, i would just say that you know he's a guest give him a break he's got his own challenges to meet as far as this visit is concerned obviously you know you're seeing this on the back of the president bush and you know uh, money talked about the big bang everybody's talking about the big bang i think these visits are more of a strategic nature Un unfortunately he's become the chief marketing officer of the united states which is not how we view presidents generally that's but given the job he's taken mm -hmm. he would want to carry some sort of pro big business message back won't he Well, you know, she talked about the Tea Party. The Tea Party is the people of small businesses ultimately, yeah. and the big businesses know how to find their way to the United States. Their private planes land on their own. Yeah. It's the small businesses in Ohio, Tennessee, West Virginia where he got shellacked. Those are the people who need to be I here in his uh, uh, <laughs> delegation. He said it today. You know, he, yeah. it's not a secret. I mean, in today's article in New York Times, he said, "Look, America is in a crisis. I'm going to Asia to open up markets. U.S. needs to double its exports. Therefore, I think is." major initiative is to export i think for us it's an opportunity it's it's an opportunity to say look you want to export to us you remove the restrictions on high technology exports to us and that's where i think the negotiation has already taken place i think the three of the four entities will be yeah, taken the off the list yeah drdo isro and bdl BD, yeah bharat dynamics limited yeah, so these yeah. three will be taken off the list so i think it's an important for us at this point to see that look america is weakened because of the economic crisis yeah. obama is weakened because of the elections this is the moment i think we can look at this partnership and india is growing meanwhile yeah. so i think the old framework americans are out to get us or you know we must duck under the table or keep arguing today i think we can do business in a practical sense in a way that both of us are can benefit all right i just want to underline the the the, the human aspect manishankar ayer did make the points up several others have made it in mumbai why was uh, this meeting with the survivors uh, at taj and not at the cst others said it security would have probably been easier to arrange at the taj but 
that uh, money just for your information railway announcers rpf constables and so on were part of that meeting somebody who also met with president obama who we spoke to this morning kia share an american who lost her daughter uh, kia uh, how would you say that meeting went and do you want to take us through what exactly happened since cameras were not allowed in uh, for that encounter yes first the ambassador came into the room and greeted everybody and had a very personal um, exchange hearing everybody's stories of where they were and a few minutes later the president and Mrs. Obama came in and they went around one by one and shook our hands looked directly into our eyes it was a very warm and personal greeting a few words were exchanged with each person and the staff members of the Oberoi and Taj were there and shared where they were at the time of the attacks and the president commended their courage in participating in that and staying and helping to evacuate guests and what they had to deal with for those four days and uh, kia you were speaking earlier about what you'd like to say to president obama did you get an opportunity to make your point yes i did i first i thanked him for the condolence letter that he sent me after the mumbai attacks i also thanked him for coming to india i told him it was very important and i told him we had an opportunity to create a positive outcome to this terrible tragedy if we took a stand to honor the oneness and sacredness of life of life in ourselves and in each other and he nodded and he agreed with that he would like to create a positive outcome and one of the reasons he's here is to create strength and harmony in the relationship between India and the United States. And Kia, we were speaking in the morning and you said it was too complicated for people like yourselves to get around the problem on whether your government is doing enough in the region. There are those like Mani Shankar Iyer here who feel that they, they should have no place in that equation, that this, this, this is our problem to navigate. But do you believe as an American that, uh, that the Obama administration has taken the right positions on, on Afghanistan vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan? Just as an American citizen, what do you think? There's so much around that issue that I really don't know that much about, so I don't know that I'm really qualified to make a comment on that. I do know that whenever um, two countries come together, two powerful countries like India and America, and the leaders come together and begin talks and negotiations and ways to find mutual benefit and share their strengths, that's very powerful for the countries and they become even stronger. Um, the other things I just don't know enough about to make a comment on. And I think that's probably how a lot of people, both in India and America, uh, who don't, who are not foreign policy wonks, who don't understand the complexities, access it in much simpler emotional terms. And Kalpana, to that degree, uh, do you believe that Obama is an important figure? He was a transformative figure when he won the election, maybe less able and willing to be multicultural, openly and unequivocally as we would have liked him to be, or as he was two years ago. But, uh, you know, in the morning, several American commentators talking about how there's an emotional resonance that he brings just for for how he represents a multifaceted ethnic uh, background and that, that in India we should not underestimate that connection. connection. That's right. Yes, Kalpana? I agree with that. Oh, is that for me? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, Obama, well, certainly when he was elected, I think for a lot of people in India, he did represent uh, a difference and a change in the U.S. And internal politics in the U.S. may have reduced his importance, and geopolitics may have reduced America's importance. But I think uh, what he represents still stands.